In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at a money play at a five wide. That's right, five wide this year is actually a viable offense. Um, something that I never thought I would say in Madden, but this year it's actually really good. So um, the audibles that you're going to want to set are you're going to want to have dig curl weed, Y cross flood. I like to have verticals, but you can also have Y post and double in. The play you're going to come out in every single play is Y corner. We're just going to give you a quick overview of the stream, but or of the scheme here. But basically, you want to have your best wide receiver on the left side here. That's Mike Evans for the Bucks. And then what I'm going to basically do is I'm going to spread the defense out. And you see this Y corner route is going to absolutely roast man to man coverage. It's the same route at the that we have out of the man, um, out of the uh, the bunch. Same round as Z spot, right? It's just a little bit more powerful, in my opinion, from five wide this year because of how good five wide is, as you're seeing right there. We're gonna roast, roast, roast man to man coverage. That's even if they shade over top. Now I'm gonna flip the play here and show you that um, this specific play is good. But again, if they have a really good corner uh, against a bad receiver, you're still going to get inside position, but they're going to have to fight a little bit more. And you see there, um, it does muddy up a little bit if they have like a Stephon Gilmore. But if they just have a standard corner on your stud receiver, this right here is going to be money for you. As you see right there, boom, Mike Evans over and over and over and over again. Now, uh, off of this, let me show this one more time to Scotty Miller. So, uh, also, if they shade coverage over top, which they probably will be shading coverage over top if they're running man to man, you're going to see Scotty Miller is going to get inside position, low ball that, click on, and Stefan Gilmore ends up making a nice play on it. But you will see this does beat man to man. Now, for those of you guys that are new to the channel, my name is Cody, and my name, I make Madden videos that help you improve your game in Madden 21. One of the best ways to stay up to date with my channel is not only to subscribe, but also to join my Discord. That is the best place not only to stay up to date with everything, but it also is going to allow you to be a part of a great community as well. But you see with this post right here, you can use or catch that. My next favorite play is Dig Curl Reed. These little hitches right here are money this year. Love, love, love this specific hitch because every zone in the game, I feel like most zones that you're going to go up against, you're going to be able to throw that low ball hitch all day long especially because of the fact that you've got two big time deep routes right here that you're going to be able they're going to pull the zones away and you're going to hit that underneath 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 now if they shade coverage down let's say let's say for example they run like five yard hitches or what or five yard yellow zones or whatever what you're going to see here is with dig curl read if they shade the coverage down it's still not going to stop the hitch but this is the best streak in the game in my opinion literally it's amazing it beats cover three beats cover two beats cover four beats everything really that you're going to face uh, on from a zone perspective the next play double in this route to Gronkowski if they're playing man-to-man -man coverage That's gonna get wide open every single time if they're playing a lot of man-to-man -man coverage You're gonna see me go to this a lot this double in play um, It's kind of a godsend this year for me in my opinion um, this little route to Sh Shady McCoy pass lead down And you're gonna see right when he stutters up. He's going to uh, beat the man-to-man -man coverage Say this right here so he's an unbump, unbumpable route. And literally, I actually like to, um, let me show you something here. We're gonna experiment with something on National Live Internet. So when you're on double in, his route's unbumpable. Like they can't press it. You can literally, literally when he, um, when, the, when he starts to shimmy, you can throw the ball. Um, and again, you do need to work on this in practice mode. You see it is a little tender. But against, you know, those press man defense right there, eh, can't quite get it on the video for you. But if you go into practice mode and mess around with it a little bit, you're going to be able to figure out how to pass, how to uh, how to get that ball to somebody. Um, and again, what I like about it is he's unbumpable. And then shimmies, low ball, computer, computer um, the corner completely glitches out. Now, again, if they shade over cup, if they shade over top, which they're probably going to do because you're in five wide, and why wouldn't you shade over top in Madden 21? If they shade over top, you're going to see this going to snap back wide open for you against man-to-man. -man. So there's two reads for you on man. Uh, again, with double N, you see here I've got this stock fade to Mike Evans. If he beats the press against that, that's an automatic dot. Um, that stock fade on the left side is such a good such a good uh, route. So that's some of the some of the reads against man. Um, one of the other things I like to do from Y uh, from Y corner is I like to do the motion slant deal. Chris Godwin on a motion slant, snap of the ball. It's gonna beat man to man. 
So as you see here, I've just got reads for days uh, against man-to-man -man out of five wide. I think five wide is very underrated this year, and I know some people have really gravitated towards it, but you'll see here, this route to Gronk does beat man-to-man, -man, but you got to throw it right when he breaks. You can't be late. As you saw there, I threw it a little bit late. You've got to throw it right on the break. So literally, it's almost like an out route at this point in the year, but throw it right there. As you see right there, it's going to beat man-to-man. It's going to beat every single man-to-man -man that they're, they're going to face. You're going to face a lot of man this year. Um, now, what you're going to see is the man meta is starting to kind of shift, right? People are starting to figure out how to beat man, and so the meta is going to shift back to zone. We're going to talk about zone in just a second, but what I want you to notice is I'm pressing coverage. I'm shading underneath and outside to try to take away Gronk. Watch what happens. Wide open. I'm able to get it right when he breaks, right when he breaks, right when he breaks. Um, cannot stress that enough this year. You've got to throw the ball on breaks. That's timing is everything this year. As you see right there, we throw it on break and he automatically wins. Now, next thing that you want to understand about this. So if they shade outside uh, coverage, maybe just stop an in route or something like that, what's going to happen is these in routes are going to become wide open because again, the corners are shading wide out, out wide. So you see here that route to Evans is going to be that big back, back breaker route against man to man. Now what they're going to start doing is, and really what they're going to have to start doing is they're going to have to go to zone. So when they go to zone, what you're going to see is you're going to see a lot of cover two. You're going to see a lot of cover two sync. In my opinion, cover two sync might be the best way to play zone this year, if not cover four. But these little underneath routes, um, these under, little underneath hitches and things like that, that's going to kill zone. It's going to force them to play their zone up, and then you're going to go to a play like dig curl read. And what I like to do with dig curl read, literally all you have to do is put McCoy on a hitch route. That's it. Against cover, uh, against cover two, what you'll see is these routes, these double moves are going to pull the safeties. Um, and I did get a throw out of sack there. But those double moves are going to pull the safeties. And what that's going to do for your offense is going to open up the middle of the field. So watch uh, Gronkowski. What I like about his specific streak route is it's angled. It's not... Um, it's not like just a straight streak. He's attacking that middle of the field. And so it's a one play touchdown against cover two. If they run cover two and they don't honor this, this is literally going to be a one play score. It doesn't matter where you're at on the field. Now, one thing that they're going to do to adjust to this is they are going to take their middle linebacker and they're going to drop him into a deep middle third. What I like about this route, let me show you here real quick. You're going to see that this route is not, that's not exactly how you're going to be able to take this way. It gets inside position, you throw it to the left, click on, and you can get aggressive catches with someone like a Rob Gronkowski or a Mike Evans. That's one of the secrets uh, of this route. In fact, if they're in cover three, you'll see this route against that deep blue safety. If you just wait long enough, pass lead it to the left, you see right there, you're going to get that over the shoulder animation against cover three. That's cover three, and we're throwing streak right down the middle of the seat. So, um, again, you're going to see a lot of that. Uh, double in is also a really good play for zone. Uh, if they're running a lot of cover two on the outsides, what you're going to see here, this route to Mike Evans is going to absolutely torch cover two, um, especially, and what you want to do with this, just to be clear on double in, what you do want to do uh, with this is you want to make sure that if they're running cover two, that they're running cover two cloud. They're not running cover two uh, sync. That's why I say cover two sync is secretly one of the better coverages in the game. But what you see is that they're in cover two. You can pass that to the left. And it's wide open dot all day against cover two this year. Uh, another thing is if they run cover two on the right side, what you'll notice about double in is you've got that stock fade to Scotty Miller. This is going to get outside leverage. Pass lead that to the right. Click on, and you're going to make that dot against cover two. So you literally have reads for everything that they're going to do. Um, this five wide took me a long time to practice and lab up. I wanted to give it away to you guys for free. Um, just a sample because we did update this in the Arizona guide. So if you guys are running Arizona, this is based out of the Arizona playbook. Really, really, really good. Again, if you're trying to, if you're if you're facing someone that's running a lot of pressure, pressure to me is not an issue right now. You throw these quick routes. You throw these quick routes from spread, the quick slant, the quick hitch, the quick in route. Those routes will destroy it. So then what that's going to do, it's literally going to force them to sit and cover two man, and you're going to be able to just pick your poison. This dig curl read play on the left side, um, you're going to see here when you pass lead it. Oops, just messed up on the, on the pass lead. But basically when it's a double move. With double moves this year, you actually want, what I like to do is I like to throw them on the first move of the route, not on the second move. So it's a post corner that uh, Mike Evans is running. 
when he runs the post, I'm going to throw it inside. Throwing it a little bit early here. And that's why he's not animating. But once he once he cuts, once he takes that one step inside, that's when you want to throw it because what's going to happen is the defense is going to automatically jump to the outside of him because of the way the mechanics of the game work. Right there, click on, and you see you're going to get that nice under under um, under animation against man to man. That is such a good route. In fact, if they drop purples over there, it's really not going to do anything. Um, what you'll see here: dig curl. Watch that route to Mike Evans. Click on, and you got that nice under under animation. Now we can do this on the right side as well. Um, it doesn't matter. Uh, it does not matter the talent of the receiver. The reason I like showing it with the Bucks the most is because I just like using um, Pass Lead Elite. I think Pass Lead Elite makes the game so much more fun uh, from a quarterback's perspective. But literally, right inside, you see there that's Stephon Gilmore, and we're able to beat him. See how the glitch is out to the, right, the corners? That's what I talked about with double moves this year. You want to throw him on the first break, not on the second break. Uh, watch, go ahead in here with Mike Evans. Now, on this little wide corner route, you are going to wait a little bit. But you see that? Click on. You're going to be able to dot it up against man to man. Now, the next play we're going to take a look at here. Uh, we've talked about wide corner. We've talked about dig curl. We've talked about double in with the post route to Gronk. We have not talked about wide post. Now, why I like wide post so much is this route to Mike Evans is the same route from uh, this play as curl wheel. What I love about this is it goes right in hand to hand. Uh, with whoops, I threw that a little too early. This goes right, right in hand with uh, wide corner. So what they're going to be doing, they're going to be shading, shading specific ways to stop wide corner. They're going to be trying to do a different adjustments like that. Well, wide post really does provide a great option. All I do is zig LaShawn McCoy, and what you're going to see here, low ball that post right when it comes back, beats every single zone in the game, and it beats Man to Man as well. Uh, we'll show you here, cover to sink. So uh, you'll see here. Y post will just run, and you literally don't even have to do anything to the play. Um, but this route to Mike Evans is such a good route. It just sits in really weird spots of the zone, and it's very, very difficult for uh, the, the defense to be able to adjust to it. Y post is, um, and you see here, you still have that route to, to uh, Gronk over the middle of the field. So you just have some really, really good routes out of this formation. This package is really, really, really effective. Next play I wanted to talk about is Y cross. If you want to run some air raid, Y cross is where you start. Uh, all I do with this is I like to take Mashant McCoy and I like to throw him on a little five and out. Um, and then Mich with uh, Godwin here, I like to take him and put him on a little hitch route. Now again, with, with Shady, what you could do, um, if you motion him to the left, you're gonna see here, it's gonna bring him in just a little smidge here. Work with that motion here, but this crossing route, you're going to be able to do that against off man. So once they start playing over top coverage, which they will start doing because you've got all those fades, um, what you have from Y cross is you have just some of the best route concepts in the game. You can smart route this route to Miller. It's going to turn it into a five-step inside slant route. It's going to attack deep down the middle field. As you see there, it does beat man-to-man -man coverage. It does beat pretty much every coverage that you're going to face. Um, you'll see here against cover three sky. If I go to the play Y cross flood, What's going to happen is I'm either going to hit these underneath routes, uh, and I sometimes double hitch, sometimes I zig and hitch. Um, you can do whatever you want to do, really. Uh, it's up to you with those option routes. But this route right here um, is such a good route against zone. Uh, I forgot to smart route it here, but we'll come back around and show you this. So again, against zone, all you're going to do, by cross flood, you're going to smart route Miller, snap of the ball. And it's just going to flow. McCourty's just being an animal right now. You would hit the crossing route, but uh, typically, typically that route is going to be wide open to Scotty Miller uh, over the middle of the field. You'll see here. This is cover two sink. Absolutely torches cover two. If I can catch, if I can actually catch the ball, make sure your possession catching it. But this out absolutely, absolutely torches uh, cover two. Which you'll see here. There's that animation that we're looking for. We finally catch the ball. That's cover three. That's cover three. What I like about this also is that it beats man-to-man. -man. Again, there's a theme here. You have to be able to beat man-to-man -man this year. man to man's the best defense in the game. It's not even close. Best way to play defense right now. So if you can't beat man-to-man, -man, you're really not going to be able to be that effective. But as you see here, this post route, post route does beat man-to-man. -man. What I love about the way this play works together in combination with one another is when you're running the play Y cross flood, um, if you take Shady McCoy, throw him on a little five and out, maybe throw Godwin on a little a little uh, hitch, 
you're going to see this Y cross route gets wide open against zone. So just some really, really good route combinations this year, guys. Um, if you want to run mesh, uh, if you do want to run mesh, what I would recommend doing is I would recommend running it like this, something like this right here. Take Godwin and motion snap him on the mesh, just like this right here, just very simple. And this is going to kill cover two, man. Any motion snap to Chris Godwin is going to be, be, be awesome for you. This is going to allow you to really run a, the whole mesh concept, not just part of it. And then you'll see these levels. This time I take Godwin, put him on that smart run of the in route, and now I'm running levels off a of Y corner. So much you can do from this. So much you can do from this offense. Really, really hope you guys enjoyed this five wide. Make this five wide your own. There's so much that you can do, um, as you see here, with these inside breaking patterns. It's a way to go this year at Madden 21. Wanted to give you this little mini scheme. Let me know what you thought of this video, guys. Again, we post four times a day here on our YouTube channel. We give out free schemes, free tips, free strategies. So make sure to subscribe. Also, if you really want to get better at Madden, what I want to encourage you to do is to join our Discord. Our Discord is a place where we're chatting Madden all day long. So if you want to get around a great community and really grow in Madden, it's going to come by getting better friends. It's going to come by the people that you're spending your time with. And so remember, there's a saying. You're the average of the five say, five people that you associate with most. So want to get better at Madden? Associate with better Madden players. And that's what that Discord is for. So I want to encourage you, if you haven't taken that step yet, be sure to join Discord today. We will see you guys tonight at 10 o'clock Eastern Time right here on my YouTube channel.